good morning respected faculties delegates and all my colleagues uh, my topic of the discussion is association between lipid profile and liver function test and fatty liver in type 2 diabetics in tertiary care hospital i am dr janil thakkar the presenting author i am third year resident uh, right now and the, my co authors are dr molik makani dr devanshu nakum and dr deepak solanki i have used few abbreviations during the uh, course of my paper to make it more convenient uh, uh, of course the dm means diabetes mellitus lft liver function test tc is total cholesterol tgl triglycerides ast alt we all know and nafld is non alcoholic fatty liver disease so diabetes mellitus is currently defined as a group of common metabolic disorders that share the phenotype of hyperglycemia multiple organ systems are affected due to metabolic dysregulations associated with diabetes mellitus causing secondary pathophysiologic changes diabetes mellitus is currently leading cause of end stage renal disease cardiovascular disease non traumatic lower extremity amputations and adult blindness in developed nations the diagnosis i made the diagnosis of diabetes during my study following the guidelines which which is glucose tolerance divided into the three categories the normal glucose tolerance abnormal glucose homeostasis and the diabetes mellitus normal glucose tolerance of the fasting blood glucose of 100 milli, less than 100 mg per deciliter plasma glucose less than 140 mg per dl following an oral glucose challenge and a1c of less than 5.6 the abnormal glucose homeostasis as impaired fasting glucose as 100 to 125 mg per dl the impaired glucose tolerance as 140 to 1 199 mg per dl and a1c of 5.7 to 6.4 percent and the diabetes mellitus furthermore fasting blood glucose of more than 126 mg per dl the glucose value uh, blood glucose value of more than 200 mg per dl 2 hour after an oral glucose challenge or a1c of more than or equal to 6.5% also the random plasma glucose concentration of more than 200 mg per deciliter accompanied by classic symptoms of diabetes mellitus which are the polyuria polydipsia and weight loss is also sufficient for the diagnosis of diabetes mellitus so in our study we aim to the study the association between lipid profile and liver function test in type 2 diabetic patients and also through this using this values we aim to make the early diagnosis of non alcoholic fatty liver disease and reversal or prevention of progression to non alcoholic steatohepatitis cirrhosis and liver malignancy coming to the materials and methodology part the study design was descriptive cross sectional study we uh, we studied uh, we made this study during the course of 6 months at the tertiary healthcare center the study population were type 2 diabetic patients attending the diabetology opd of tertiary healthcare center Sample size was 93 using purposive sampling method. The inclusion and exclusion criteria were kept very simple. The inclusion criteria were type 2 diabetic patients with age more than 32 years, and exclusion criteria in exclusion we had excluded the patients with history of alcohol use. The data analysis data was collected using pre-designed uh, proforma, and for that the diagnosis of diabetes were made as the guidelines that I discussed before. And for ALT and AST, the value of more than 30 were Now taken in, as the positive values and total cholesterol was taken more than 200 and triglyceride more than 150. These values were taken as elevated and their association with fatty liver was studied. The fatty liver was diagnosed using the ultrasound of abdomen. Alcoholics were obviously excluded. The statistics, uh, statistics collected data were analyzed with SPSS statistics software 23.0 version and the p-value of less than 0.05 was taken as significant level. So the results. so of the 93 participants that we included the 49 were females and 44 were females mean age of them were 52.6 plus or minus 10.42 out of these 93 71 of total they had raised liver liver enzymes and out of this 71 uh, with elevated lft that 62 people 62 participant had fatty liver 44 participant of this 93 had raised lipid profile and out of this 44 the high number of 43 participant had fatty liver interestingly the 43 participant had all the three findings uh, elevated fasting lipid profile lft and fatty liver in usg so uh, statistical analysis showed uh, analyzing this data showed that there is significant association between these three parameters fasting lipid profile lft fa fasting lipid profile and fatty liver and also the fasting lipid profile lft and fatty liver here we can see that of the uh, of the participant that had fatty liver present in the usd 98.4% had elevated liver function test 
and of the uh, participants who had fatty liver present in the USG, there was 68.3 percent with elevated lipid profile, and also the 68.3 percent of the all participants had uh, presence of all the three things: raised LFT, raised fasting lipid profile, and the fatty liver present in the USG. So the type 2 diabetic patients are more prone to elevations in the lipid profiles. Individuals with type 2 diabetes have a higher chance, higher incidence of LFT abnormalities than the non-diabetic individuals. And there is also higher incidence of fatty liver in type 2 diabetics. So as uh, also according to this study, derangement of fasting lipid profile and LFT has statistically significant correlation with fatty liver. This present study, as I said, uh, discussed, uh, as I discussed, showed 63 per 63% people had fatty liver in ultrasound and same way the previous studies also one of the previous studies was 62.25 uh, percent of the patients uh, had the similar findings so to our coming towards the conclusion part there is significant association between fasting lipid profile liver function enzymes and fatty liver in type 2 diabetics so the merit of this study being that it's an eye opener in the association in the type 2 diabetes mellitus and fasting lipid profile and liver function test in addition it also shows the association between fatty liver and the other two parameters so based on this above observation it could be recommended that routine monitoring of liver function test fasting lipid profile and ultrasound for the fatty liver in patients with type 2 diabetes should occur at the start of drug therapy to screen the possibility of any underlying fatty liver which might need further evaluation and early intervention to prevent from progression into cirrhosis and chronic liver disease and here on we can go for periodic st screening thereafter based on our clinical judgment uh, limitations there were some limitations from our study because our study being a cross-sectional one could not address the effect of the glycemic control over the parameters that uh, we have discussed in the paper although alcoholics with fatty liver were excluded other risk factors like viral hepatitis hemochromatosis uh, drugs uh, were not taken into account however we believe that this is a valuable addition because of the scope for early intervention to prevent from progression to fatty liver into cirrhosis and chronic liver disease through monitoring of lipid profile liver function enzymes and the fatty liver these are the plethora of references that are used thank you all